Hey guys, it's Shannon. And Paul. And welcome to the Collector Corner. That's right. Where today we are opening up Pop Mart League of Legends Classic Characters Collection. I thought I it was, thought thought. was Ligue of Legends. Ah ha ha ha. So League of Legume? If you're allergic to peanuts, do not watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> it's League of Legends. Legume. So, <laughs> these look pretty cool. I love the packaging on these. The blue is really cool. This character is really cool. Yes. Here are the characters we can get. So 13 to collect, including a secret character. Um, I would like to get the secret, but I really want to see the whole base series, too. So I just, I don't know. And I want to see, is it Miss Fortune? Hey, hold on a second. I need to put on my reading glasses because there's something different on here. They actually are showing the... Um, rarity of these now now we've long suspected and told you guys this these are all one out of 12s and then the secret says one out of 144 yes so pop mart special editions are very difficult to find what happened to your box uh, this whole box is like just crushed it had a rough trip it yeah. came from overseas it had a rough trip yeah, so it's that okay one's dented in. It um usually the figures are fine yes so yeah i want to see miss fortune I would Although like. I really like Ash. Ash too. is cool looking. I like uh, Seraphine. Yeah, they all look good. Yumi, the cat. All right. All right. You're going with that one. Yeah, this one. Let's get it started. Oh, I think I'm gonna have Ash. All right. I do have. Is it Ash? Ash. Ash. All right. Oh, she's amazing looking. Okay. So I love the big tall boots, the little arm guards, the gold decorations. The, the hood is really cool looking. Yeah. And then the flowy cape with the quiver of arrows over top. And we have a base that can be stood on. Let's see. I'm assuming it's like this. I feel like these are a little bit bigger than normal Pop Mart figures. They are a little bit taller. Yeah. I, I agree with you. And let's see. She... She's going to have a little arrow in her one hand. Okay. Um, hmm. Not exactly sure how this is all going to fit in her hands. Well, you can do that off screen. Yeah. And... So, there you go. You can just imagine. <laughs> I'll try and fix that off screen. All right, so here's the card. Our card did get munched. Yeah, that happens. But there is the collector card. All right. Hey, I think I have Miss Fortune. I think you do. We got you the do. two right off the bat. Miss Fortune. Nice. Okay. So, Miss Fortune is awesome. Love the giant pirate hat. Oh boy. How. What are these? These they're, are funny. Weapons. They're revolvers. Um, so like she holds it. Yeah. I thought they were bells at first. Mm. So. They're that's going to go in that hand. Well, they're the same. Oh, okay. On both sides. They're printed on both sides. So this is the handle. That's how you would hold it, like aiming it that way. Well, she has them up in the air. Yes, yeah, she does. So you think this one goes here? Uh, turn it around. There you go, like that. Oh, I was trying to put the other thing in, that piece. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes more sense. Yep, there she is. <laughs> She's a rootin' tootin' pirate. <laughs> Okay, next up. I like that they have the bases. Yes, me too. Somebody with a very long sword. Oh, I have uh, Yasuo. 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 Okay, very awesome looking. He has the baggy pants. Not quite MC Hammer pants, but close. Uh, little calf <laughs> guards, time. sandals, a big rope around his waist. I like this wing shoulder uh, pauldron that he has. And he has the collar. And, okay, he has a totally different base. He does not have the little um, concrete stand. 
he has this like little like wind or energy stompy thing. I feel like it's air bending. And he has a huge sword that he holds. Oh, he's drawing it. So he so he's drawing out. I think it needs the to be turned because the handle just well, you kinda got it, but the sword handle should be showing. Okay. But that's okay. He's okay. holding it, that I works. I like his little flip flops. Yeah. His special sandals. There's the card for that one. I like the um, action poses on these. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh. We have a lot of accessories with that one. Who is this? That's Yumi. Is that one Yumi? I had a little thing inside. I said, is that one Yumi? Yes, Yumi. Okay. <laughs> so this is a very beautiful kitty. I like the colors, the purple and yellow. The yellow tail is really cool. And this one has an amazing book as a base. And it looks like an accessory is going to come out of the book here. Yep. That accessory so, is going to come out. That's going to put in, stick in the hole. And then it's going to wrap around the back of Yumi. Sure it is. Yeah. That's what it's showing at least. There you go. So, whoops, I pulled it out. I guess, I don't know exactly how. Okay. It's supposed to wrap around. It's like spell power coming oh, out of the book. Oh, you know what? I think if we put it behind first. Okay. Okay, I'm going to fix that. Okay. So there's the card for Yumi. Yeah, the size of these is really nice. Because um, these figures are bigger than normal pop art, especially including the base. I don't know what I'm doing. There, there's a special magical power. Magical cat. All right, I have Ezreal. Yeah. So this is the this is like Star Lord meets Thanos meets casual guy at the fast food place. <laughs> he's wearing like brown shoes, looks like sneakers, maybe boots, denim jeans. Oh, you know what? He's a painter or a drywaller because he has the knee pads on. Oh, is that, that so? T-shirt, leather jacket, and the Infinity Gauntlet. He's just doing everything. Yes. It's obviously clear that Chan and I do not play League of Legends. Um, we are aware of it. <laughs> but, but you don't have to, to enjoy yep. and appreciate the figures. He has this awesome energy uh, weapon. And here. it's fun when you make up your own stories. Yes. And then he has, like, a cloud base. Okay. I got it. <laughs> it's like, yes. Some people have their heads in the cloud. I have my feet in the clouds. Ah, fancy. Yep. So there's the collector card for that one. These are really awesome. These are. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow, she's awesome. So this is Seraphine? Seraphine! She looks like she would be the exclusive or rare one. She does. Look at the glitter on her outfit and, like, one sock. It's going to the club, Seraphine. She has mismatched socks because it's trendy, it's cool, it's fun to do. Yep. She's amazing. So her hair is pink and purple, and I love her. She's my favorite. She's awesome. I she's so much cooler looking than she looked like on the box, and yes. she looks good on the box. But this is an amazing figure. All right, let's see if I can get her feet on the base here. Stand on the base. I'm assuming that's the front of her base, right? Uh, sorry, yes, <laughs> yes, that's the front of her base. Okay, and then and she, she has, has that accessory. Oh wow, her... it's, a, it's a golden microphone. Yeah, I think it is actually. You think it's a microphone? I think so. It's a wand. It's a. It's a magic wand. Yeah. You have this, and you have this, and you have this. So she has her hand out. She's yeah. like, and one for you. She's like the Oprah She's of the Oprah. world. Yeah. One for you, and one for you. I love that figure a lot. That's a cool one. Oh, I have the figure from the front of the box. Oh yeah. I have. Ari, Ari, Ari. 
I think Ari. Yeah. So this one is really, really cool. Um, this one doesn't have a base or any accessories? Nope. Okay. Not according to the picture. Okay, this one is absolutely beautiful. I like the long black hair. It has little ears coming out. We have all the tails in back. And I like the little, like, it reminds me of like a Sailor Moon character. Mm -hmm. The way the, the dress is and the little boots. I feel like she's wearing like Air Jordan boots. <laughs> Air Jordan ones. Those would be popular. Yep. So that's really cool. And it has little whiskers, little scratches on her cheek. And she has a little blue ball she probably plays with. <laughs> so these are very expressive. They are, yes. Each one looks so different. Which is pretty cool. All right. Next up, oh, does she not have accessories either? I didn't see any. I have Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> So Zoe has awesome hair too. This like peachish pink color and it has goldish uh, pearlescent look to it. Yes. She's just kind of sitting there. There's some butterflies and she has lots of gold accents and accessories. And I'm trying to figure out, I think this is all her hair. I think you're right. Wrapped all around, which is pretty awesome. Yes. But it would cost a lot at the stylist. It would. To keep all these colors going on and everything, that would be pretty difficult. So we. Let's see. Oh, oh I have Timo or Timu. So we have a little, <laughs> little explorer guy. <laughs> standing on top of a mushroom. Looks like one of the poisonous Mario mushrooms. Or the one-up mushroom. Um, <laughs> <we're... laughs> Alright, I like the little uh, twin backpack sacks full of scrolls. I love the little safari helmet with the goggles. It's like a steampunk safari. -ist. We have the telescope holding on in a little olive green gloves and boots and bags. Mm -hmm. That's really cool, but I would not eat that mushroom. That would be you, though. You would have little bags full of important scrolls. And I would. Yes, I would. And stuff. It's one of my dreams. <laughs> okay, we have a base. All right. Oh, wow. He's awesome. Okay, this is Lee Sin. Lee Sin. Lee Sin. Lee Sin is wearing a bandana around his eyes, so I don't know if he's blind or if he just his power works better when he is using different senses versus his eyesight. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Or maybe this is his eye right here. He's one eye. <laughs> so he has a really cool ponytail. This ponytail probably whips around and is a weapon on its own. I mean, it's kind of floating, suspended in air. He definitely is in action pose here. The skirts or whatever you would call it of his pants, they're flung, floating up in the air. Yep. And I like his tattoos. Yeah. He's pretty cool. He's doing like a elemental earth punch or something. Yep. Some sort of punch. What were you going to show us? Okay. Uh, well, let me show you the card. We have another munched card. That was like super munched. So we still need to find Jinx and Lulu for the base set, and of course the secret. I'm guessing by the silhouette that the secret is going to be a variant of Ari. So I remember Jinx, but I don't remember some of the other characters here. Yeah. So we watched the animated special on Netflix, I believe it was. Sure. Um, which was really cool. Very well done. Hoping another season of that. And yes, Jinx was in that. So I have Lulu. So this reminds me of Orko from Masters of the Universe. Oh, yeah. I have the big red hat, oversized, small character. I love this little brown pointy elf shoes, uh, plum colored tights, <laughs> a red tunic, and a little purple striped shirt. She has little fangs. <laughs> She's a cute little vampire. It's Vampirina. 
Oh, Vampirine all grown up. Yep. There we go. I love the base with the little pixie. That's a scary looking little pixie. It is a scary looking little pixie. Sometimes pixies are not your friend. Gotta watch out for them. They're tricksters. Whoa! I don't... And there she goes. Yep, there she goes. She also has this cool staff. And it is... Okay, so this is more on the front. There we go. Nope. Almost at it. Get on mm. there. Kind of. And yeah, she has this cool staff. It looks like a question mark. She borrowed this from the Riddler. She's not on the base right. She is not. You can figure it out later. Okay. Look, her hand is out and she's supposed to be feeding or doing something with that. Okay. So You'll have to figure that out. There's the card. So that means we either have Jinx or the secret. I really want to see Jinx. Me too. But the secret is fine, so... I don't think we're going to have the secret. I think we're going to have Jinx. We do have Jinx. So she's awesome. Love the blue hair and the purple outfit. She has all her ammo strapped to her. I like her boots and everything. She's pretty cool. Let's open her accessories. Paul's still trying to figure that one out. All right, so, oh, look at her base, says Jinx. Oh, wow. That's cool. That is awesome. Let's see, let's stand her on the base. There's Jinx's card. Sometimes you have to line their feet up just right. Come on. Come on, Jinx, cooperate. She's like, never. I don't cooperate. Okay, so there she is, and then she has the little, like, shark yeah. gun guy. And how is she holding this? Can I see the card? She has it in this hand. Uh -huh. and kind of behind her back. Yes. Oh, man. Okay, popped right out. And then she has this one as well, which she is holding like so. She's going to hold that handle. She kind of gives. Her arms give a little bit, so you yeah, kind of have to be careful. All these kind of do a little bit, um, which is nice. They're not as brittle as some of the other characters. Yes, but you also have to be careful. You do have to be careful, obviously. <gasps> there we go. There you go. Oh, awesome. She is awesome. Okay. All right, now it's to pick favorites. Let's see. Well, she's just going to stay front and center so we can see everybody. Um, I really like Jinx, but I think I have to go with Seraphine. Seraphine, okay. Yes. Ooh, this is tough. I think I'm going to have to go with Misfortune. Okay, cool. I like her outfit a lot. How about you guys? Which one of these did you like the best? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the share button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's going to make you part of the Collector Corner Club, where if you have a kitty, you have to keep it occupied. Otherwise, they will get into witchcraft. <laughs> Thanks you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.